Good morning. Good Thursday morning. Good September 22nd morning. Wow. A week from tomorrow is the last day. Well, we got one one full week left of September and a couple of days, right? And then it's October already, which this morning, by the way, feels wonderful outside. I just stepped outside. That's why I'm a little bit late because I was like, I got to go see. It's got cool just in time because my air conditioner's on the, the not working again. <laughs> so it's just one thing after another, isn't it? And that's okay because everything that happens just pushes me closer to him to trust him more because ain't nobody here going to take care of you. <laughs> I figured that out a long time ago. <laughs> anyway, so there were those things people can't do. They can't give you that peace in the middle of craziness. They can't give you a peace in the middle of a pandemic. They can't give you, people can't do a lot of those sort of things, right? And so, you, you you know, there's a scripture that talks about not leaning on the arm of flesh, but leaning on God instead. And so, anyway, that ain't what I'm going to talk about, though. Anyway, so this morning, so it's cool, right? I, I got up, I, I heard the wind come in uh, sometime in the night. I kind of heard it, and and uh, it got cooler even in the house. And and uh, so I stepped outside. It was cooler outside. I was like, oh, my goodness. And today is the first day of autumn, right? This is actually, today is the first day of, of the new season, which sometimes doesn't mean anything, and sometimes it does. <laughs> this time it just happened to actually turn fall on fall, right? Anyway, so so when with the changes of the seasons, I always think of this scripture. It's a promise that God gave Noah. It's right after the ark. It is in uh, Genesis 8, 19. It says, they, everything came, according to the families, came out of the ark. Now, what they went in with is a whole lot less than what they came out with, right? Because everybody reproduced. All those animals had to have reproduced, right? Uh, anyway, all the people, the eight people came out and bunches of, of animals came out. Because they went in two by two on purpose. God sent them in two by two. So unless he prevented them from having anything. But it says, according to their families, they came out of the ark. So I'm thinking they all had babies while they were in there. Can you imagine taking care of all of that for all those long time they were in there? During the rains and all that. Anyway, so they come out of the ark. Then Noah built an altar. He built an altar to the Lord. And he took of every clean animal and every clean bird and offered burnt offerings on that altar. And the Lord smelled a soothing aroma. You see, remember God wiped out the earth, or the people on the earth, and he wiped out the earth, uh, you know, with a flood because they were just so intent on evil all the time. Boy, am I glad he didn't promise. I'm glad, am I glad he promised he wasn't going to wipe us out again because is our gen this generation is so intent on evil and they're so intent on evil that they want to make sure everybody else is everybody in the world congratulates them on their evils right and supports them on their evils or they and be tolerant of their evils we can't do that as believers right we are only called to love those people but we do not cling to what is evil and and love what is evil but we do love people right and sometimes it's hard to make that distinction right most of the time it's okay, but sometimes that gets difficult. But anyway, so he and so Noah and his family are safe. He took all the animals into the ark. They rode on that big boat that he built, by the way. It took him, I think, a year or two. I don't know. He didn't have no power tools. And yet he built this massive ark that we can't even fathom in our heads, you know, and how he did it with, with without power tools and nails and screws like what we, I mean, you know, what a magnificent, work of art <laughs> the ark was right so he stayed on the ark while god destroyed and re revamped the earth and finally they're coming out and the first thing noah does is build an altar to god now we don't build altars anymore why because christ was our sacrifice he was the eternal sacrifice and we don't need to make the only sacrifice that's made today is us crawling on that altar and living living out our lives in worship that's that's our reasonable service of worship is what Romans, I think it's 12, 1 says, is just giving our lives back to the one who gave his life for us, right? So we don't actually build an altar, but figuratively we can build, we can, we can, we can signify an event by, I would call it driving a stake in the ground, a, a, not a real one, not a real stake, but we can say in this place, I'm going to worship God. And we, we make a kind of a mental altar there where we just go okay god i'm just this is the place where i'm changing my life this is the place can you remember the place where you were saved you know i remember a little assembly of god church in winniewood oklahoma 
it would have been the fall of 66. I was in first grade and I I don't remember anything about the service. I just know I was overcome and I needed to know God and I went to the altar. I don't even know if the preacher invited me. I don't know if the service was over. I don't know anything. I just knew I needed to know God and I know in that moment is when I got saved. I remember my mom and sister Petty I believe it was talking to me and asking me questions and I was like no they're like do you need this do you need no no I just need to know God I just want to know God that was all I wanted and that that becomes a place where I I can I I call it driving a stake there in my mind mentally that's the place because then because see what happens is the enemy comes and he says oh that didn't really happen you didn't really commit your life to Christ you didn't really tr start trusting God you didn't really accept the call on your life and you can go oh no 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 because I got this mental stake drove in the ground right there it's not a it's not a physical thing but I can go back to that place and go no right there right that that time is when I did that and so we have that so he's Noah's driving a stake in the ground kind of he's building that altar and he it says the Lord smelled a soothing aroma then the Lord said in his heart I will never again curse the ground for man's sake isn't that an awesome promise although the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth <laughs> boy do we see it nor will I again destroy every living thing as I have done. He said, I'm never going to do this again. This is a one and done, right? And then he said, listen to this. While the earth remains, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, winter and summer, day and night will not cease. Now, I know there's a lot of people talking about climate change. I'm not saying there's not any climate change. I'm just saying God promised while the earth was here there will be seasons there will be day and night there will be cold and heat there will be seed time and harvest those things are not going to go away then it says god bless noah so so when so when in the new season you know, I, I i love fall because it's cool you can still do things outside because i like to be outside so i got i got two hiking trips planned this month right <laughs> and so how many times i'm gonna take chris to lake hefner or, or martin park or bluff creek i, I can't promise but so I love the season changes. And but what I thought of this morning was that in the kingdom of God, there aren't any season changes, right? Now in life there is. You know I'm getting closer and closer to the winter season, and and but I don't know why that would be called the winter season because that just means I'm closer and closer to going home, being with Him. So that's a good thing, right? With jubilee. <laughs> but but you know we we consider life to have seasons, and and even in just our you know, we can be in a season where it feels like spring and everything's good and everything's new. And yeah, I got a new job. Yeah, I got a new car. Yeah, I got a new house. And then we have kind of a summer season and it gets really hot because now we got to make that house payment. We got to make that car payment. And then t things are tougher. And, and we go through periods and we relate them to periods of time and we relate them to seasons. You know, I mean, a really, this is a really winter season. Nothing looks like it's alive, although it really is, right? Or, or I'm in a, a, a just a season of growth. I'm in that a spring season or I'm in a season that I'm just working hard it's summer I'm gonna stay inside it's hard everything everything's hard harder to do when it's that hot right and we go through these seasons in our lives and we can we liken it to you know our we liken our experiences to seasons but did, as I was thinking about all that this morning and praying and all that I was like there aren't any seasons in heaven in the kingdom of God there's no seasons it's always perfect all the time right and yet in the kingdom of god there is seed time and harvest so maybe there is seasons <laughs> Did i just refute my own argument no i don't know but there's not seasons god god's kingdom is consistent right god god's kingdom doesn't change with our seasons now we we're a lot of things are going to change i'm sure pumpkin spice something is out there now y'all pumpkin spice weirdos <laughs> everybody goes running for pumpkin spice i'll probably buy some pumpkin and and try to instant pot it and freeze it in the freezer because it's really nutritious it's got a lot of lots of nu nutrition in it that uh that is good for chris uh will i eat some i might eat some but i ain't gonna go looking for it i don't want no pumpkin spice don't mess up my coffee with pumpkin spice i just want my coffee okay <laughs> so but but 
you know, pumpkin, there's things changes. We start eating different foods for the fall because it's cooler outside. And the winter we'll eat more soups. In the summer we eat more salads. We change in response to those seasons. We'll start pulling out our jackets because it's going to be cooler outside, wearing long pants. Eventually it'll be winter, we'll put long dogs. But in the kingdom of God, it's always the same. The kingdom of God doesn't change. It doesn't fluctuate. We don't have peace one day and oh, not the next. <laughs> you know, We don't have his provision one day and not the next. We don't have healing one day and not the next. What God provided in his kingdom is consistent. It doesn't rely on the, the seasons. It doesn't rely on the, the market, right? Uh, his provision doesn't rely on the market. Thank God they just raised it another almost a whole percentage right which means houses go up cars go up loans go credit card interest goes everything goes up they say that helps with inflation because it makes people not buy stuff i'm like yeah well are you going to take it back down when it's over <laughs> right but no i doubt they do that right but anyway you know it, it, i guess it does fluctuate but god's provision doesn't fluctuate with that he he just said let's say uh he'll meet all of our needs He'll meet all of our needs. And he doesn't say, unless inflation is too high, unless there's a recession, unless uh, there's just too much debt, unless there's too much this. Unless... No, God, what God says doesn't fluctuate like the seasons. It doesn't. It, what God says, when Jesus said, I'm leaving my peace with you, there's no unless on there. There's no expiration date on there. There's not until fall. Until winter, I don't do anything in winter. <laughs> I don't, right? He doesn't. There's no. There's no fluctuations in the kingdom of God. God just is solid, and consistent, and what He promised, He has promised, and He's not taking it back. Nothing. Get, I always say in my blog for caregivers, I always say, you know, when life gets ugly, God doesn't go, oh, never mind. Because <laughs> life can get rough, right? Our, we can face some really tough circumstances and situations, and, and we can have to deal with some really hard things sometimes. But God doesn't go, oh, no, I that's it. That's too hard for me. I'm not, I was not prepared for that, you know? No, he still says, I give you my peace. I'm still your provider. I'm still your shepherd. I'm still your king. I'm still your savior. I'm still your Lord. I'm still your fill in the blank. Whatever you need, I've still got it. Isn't that an amazing thing about God? No seasons. No seasons in God. There's no change in God. He doesn't even, he's so bright, he doesn't even cast a shadow. Isn't that awesome? And it never it never wanes. It never goes away. It never gets less. He's consistent. He's, he's purposeful. He's our God. Isn't he amazing? He is. Have a great fall. Start a far, fall today. <laughs> Have a, I hope you enjoy the cooler weather. Peace out. I'll see you tomorrow.